section 88 by some payana said after this indra again asked yayati how did she retire into the woods so king after accomplishing all thy duties o yayati son of nahusha i would ask thee to whom thou art equal in ascetic austerities yayati answered o vasava i do not in the matter of ascetic austerities behold my equal among men the celestials the gandharvas and the great rishis indra then said o monarch because thou disregards those that are thy superiors thy equals and even thy inferiors without in fact knowing their real merits thy virtues have suffered diminution and thou must fall from heaven yayati then said o sakra if indeed my virtues have really sustained diminution and i must on that account fall down from heaven i desire o chief of the celestials that i may at least fall among the virtuous and the honest indra replied o king thou shall fall among those that are virtuous and wise and thou shall acquire also much renown and after this experience of time o ayati never again disregard those that are thy superiors or even thy equals by some pana continue upon this ayati fell from the region of the celestials and as he was falling he was beheld by that foremost of royal sages vis astaka the protector of his own religion astaka beholding him inquired who art thou o youth of a beauty equal to that of indra in splendor blazing as the fire thus falling from on high art thou that foremost of sky ranging bodies the sun emerging from dark masses of clouds beholding thi falling from the solar course possessed of immeasurable energy and the splendor of fire or the sun everyone is curious as to what it is that is so falling and he is besides deprived of consciousness beholding chi in the path of the celestials possessed of energy like that of sakra or surya or vishnu we have approached thi to ascertain the truth if thou adds first ask us who we were you would never have been guilty of the incivility of asking thee first we now ask thee who thou art and why thou approaches ether let thy fears be dispelled let thy woes and afflictions cease thou art now in the presence of the virtuous and the wise even sakra himself the slayer of wala cannot ear do thee any injury o thou of the prowess of the chief of the celestials the wise and the virtuous are the support of their brother in grief here there are none but the wise and virtuous like thee assembled together therefore stay thou here in peace fire alone hath power to give heat the earth alone hath power to infuse life into the sea the sun alone hath power to illuminate everything so the guest alone hath power to command the virtuous and the wise thus ends the 88th section in the sambhava parva of the adi parva